You did a show in Reno this weekend, I understand. Yes, I okay. did. Okay, how did it go? It went great. Uh, it was just, you know, big show, everything went great. And then one person, I was making fun of the military, you know, which you can't do now. <laughs> like, we totally went the, from Vietnam, all the hippies being like, hey, man, you're like a baby killer, man. To like now you gotta give like a standing ovation when they walk over to Delta, you know what I mean? <laughs> <laughs> you know, show show that you're not in ISIS. Like I don't know what you have to be doing. Like ah, ah, thank you, thank you. And I'm, so I do this bit making fun of the military a little bit. And the first time I did it, I did it at a VFW to make sure that it was funny in the right way. And it killed. It was even a dude. He lost his legs. He almost fell out of his chair, dying <laughs> laughing, going, dude. That is so true. So I, they were, you got approval from, from that. veterans. So then yeah. I'm doing it in front of regular people, you know what I mean? So the second up, everybody has a good time with it except one person. He came all the way up to the front and just starts, didn't even heckle, just started yelling. You just hey, show some respect. He starts yelling at me like he's my dad, right? <laughs> so he's like 100 pounds overweight. I'm like, why don't you show some respect and lose a little weight next time you have the middle seat on a flight? You won't be spilling over onto your fellow Americans. No, I know. I know that's off limits because now fat people are heroes. Everybody <laughs> is a hero now. Everyone's a hero. No, I'm going to tell you what about fat people. Your organs are not giving you a standing ovation as you walk over <laughs> to the refrigerator again. What you're doing is dangerous. You got children. Lay off the ice cream. <laughs> it's so brave. It's so brave to be out of that, sh uh, you know, so whatever. So that guy, oh, God. I was so upset that security, like, escorted him out. I wanted to talk. Like, I started my show blaming women for sexual harassment. That's how I started it. Yes, it was Wait. absurd. I wasn't being serious, you children. <laughs> this is the worst time I ever. I have to now move my ever. chair away know, from you. I know, because then all of a sudden, I know. Dude, it's literally. It's tough times it's, no, right now. As yeah. a comedian, yeah, it's like the walls. It's like you're in this walk-in closet of what could be funny. And meanwhile, there's like a swirl of trash with every toothbrush he ever used spinning around the Pacific Ocean. Nobody cares. God forbid you tease the Navy a little bit and people have like, like a conniption. Well, what did you say about the military that got people so mad? Or this one guy so mad? I was mad? just saying, like, yeah, the guy who flies the fighter jet, okay, and has missiles shot at him, that guy's a hero. However, if you're the guy that, like, points in the direction that the plane takes off in... <laughs> you know what I mean? We're, we're kind of... We're kind of watering down what is heroic behavior. You don't think that guy, the guy who points in the direction is... Yeah, the is, guy doing Warrior One, like the yoga pose. <laughs> <laughs> like, the battlefield is that way. <laughs> no, but everything has just become that. It's just become like this, right. like, uh, this, you know, that whole first responder thing, you know, all these, like, code words you have to say. It's so stupid. I'm a first responder. I love that one. It's like, dude, I called you. I saw the fire. <laughs> like, what am I? What do you have, like, ESP? <laughs> we just want to thank our first responders, and just everything has just become, uh, uh, uh. It, just, it drives me up the wall. All right, it we're going to take, we're gonna take a little break. We'll have more <laughs> with Phil Burr. We'll calm him down during the commercial break. <laughs>